Annyeonghaseyo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Tonight's feature is the political horror comedy, The Werewolf of Washington, which is neither frightening nor funny and has nothing to say about politics. It is trash, though. Before we get to that, we have the next episode of The Great Alaskan Mystery. Last time, Grit joined Jim, Ruth, and the bosun's polycule, and the four went to vacation in the country. On their way home, Brandon, jealous of their romantic success, drives them off the road. And now, episode 8 of The Great Alaskan Mystery, In a Flaming Plane. I saw before. I, I'm sure of it. I'll take some men in the truck with me. Have a look along the road. Jim's coming down. What do you know? A couple of high fighters just let Bill got away with our pickup truck. That cinches it. They're after Jim. Have three of the men go with me. Ruth, you come along too. Do you need her? Oh, I can't stay here, Dad. If something should happen to Jim or both, and I. Where are you hooking it? Where's the truck? Right at the bottom of the hill. Did the load get away from you? Not exactly. Oh, we were doing all right till the truck pulled up right in front of us in the middle of the road. Was it our pickup truck? Well, we didn't have time to stop and look. Yeah. Let's see it. young Hudson. Good work, Brandon. I thought that'd make you happy, House. How did you do it? I'll tell you the story later. First, we're paying a visit to the Gunsight Mine. Go down and get rid of that truck I've been using. Work fast, but keep quiet. You fellas come with me. You too, House.
nothing to be done about the truck. It shouldn't be hard for the men to get the timber out of there. We can get to it easier from the lower level. Everybody is. I'll probably asleep where we ought to be. Well, that doesn't account for the watchman. Well, here he is. Somebody's knocked him out. Bolson, take care of it. I wonder if Dad's all right. Discovery of our time. How soon can you set it up and have it working? Depends on whether you have rods. I took everything from the laboratory I thought would be of value. I'll do the best I can. But Jim, I tell you, I was right here all the time. I don't see how. But this is terrible. A weapon of such terrific power in the hands of those men. Why, they wouldn't hesitate to use it on anything or anybody. I know, I know. But don't worry about it. Doc will get it back. From now on, nothing else matters till we do. Oh. If you need any help, sing out. I'll go tell Brock we finally made it. The art HB. The art HB. Come in, HB. Come in, Brandon. Well, Chief, we made it. Everything worked out according to plan. Good. What about the Paratron? We've got the Paratron. Here's the ranch. Dr. House is putting it together now. And we'll be able to cover every bit of territory within a radius of 100 miles. You do the piloting, I'll do the observing. Well, I think that's an excellent plan. Perhaps, but why tomorrow night? Well, if they can put the Paratron together, they'll certainly want to use it. And if they do, we'll be able to see that light for 50 miles. What I want to know is where are you going to get the plane? I'll go in town tomorrow and ask Mr. Brock. So far, he's been able to give us anything we've wanted. And I hope it works. How much would a thing like that cost, Doc? I don't know. It's hard to say. A million dollars, perhaps? A million dollars? You meddlesome pig! I told you to keep your hands off! 
think you can operate it? That blundering fool hasn't damaged it. Well, I guess that's all right. Here, this is the energized quartz Dr. Miller came north for. It is a secret of the Paraton's miraculous power. Let's see you make it work, Doc. Try it out on that tree up on the hill there. Take. Apparently some form of atomic energy. I should like to have seen Dr. Miller's face when he realized what he had created. I'd like to have seen him when he realized it was gone. What do you think Brock is going to do with it? Probably send it abroad as soon as possible. You know, you can't hide a thing like this. I hope he doesn't take it away from me too soon. Such a long time has passed since I have worked in it. Yes? There's Mr. Jim Hudson here to see you. Jim Hudson? Send him in. Hello, Hudson. Hello, Mr. Brock. Sit down. Thank you. How are things going? That's a good. Could you help me rent a plane? Well, I'll try. Almost anything will do. It's just for some local flying. Well, I don't want to appear unduly curious, but if I had more of an idea of what you wanted for. It's no secret. I want to find Dr. Miller's paratron. Paratron? Yes, you know his invention? You've heard me speak of it. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, don't tell me it's gone. That's right, it is. Well, you seem so concerned. Is it that important? It's extremely important. That machine in the hands of the wrong people could be a terribly destructive weapon. Well, but didn't you say that its commercial use was to convey substance through space? It was, until Dr. Miller developed it far beyond that point. But what about the plane, sir? <clears throat> Hello. Give me 752. Hello, Paul. This is Brock talking. Say, can you rent me a small plane for local flying? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. You got an old two-seater biplane they use as a trainer. Well, that'll be fine. Ask him if it has landing lights. Does it have landing lights? Yeah, well, have it serviced and ready to fly. Jim Hudson will pick it up. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brock. I hate to be always calling on you. Oh, don't mention it. Glad to be of help. I'll go right down and get it. I want to get started tonight before the thieves cover too much territory. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks again. Now is your chance to test the destructive power of the Paratron. Tonight. Okay, we'll be waiting for him. And this time, don't report his death until you're sure of it. Right. Anything else? No. simple thing to find out. Train that gadget on the rocks over there. Just a flash. Oh, I see. You think they're experimenting. That's the idea. Oh, Bimo! 
of light. I'm sure it's the paratron. He's seen it. He's cut his motor. What's that building down there? That ought to be the old Kurtz Ranch. Did the light come from there? No. Further over the hill. mountain cuts off the view of the fireworks. Welcome back. Because this is the weekend of the presidential inauguration in Washington, D.C., I chose a movie set in Washington for tonight's feature, The Werewolf of Washington. Reporter Jack Whittier is bitten by a werewolf before flying to the States to assume his role as press secretary. Falling victim to the curse, Jack starts killing people who stand in the way of the president's goals. The movie features a few one-off gags that suggest the makers weren't sure whether they wanted to make a political satire or a horror spoof, and so settled on something disappointing. However, it does have Dean Stockwell of Quantum Leap in Paris, Texas as the titular werewolf, which is a definite plus. Now sit, stay, and laugh at the werewolf of Washington. member of the Washington Press Corps, its fastest rising star, one of the best and brightest, as we used to say. Before so much blood passed under those pretty Potomac bridges. having an affair with the president's daughter and I wanted out. Without hurting her feelings or frankly my career. So I had my paper reassign me to our bureau in Budapest. Somehow the president heard I was banished for being too pro-administration. And he offered me a job which I couldn't refuse. Which is where the terrible events that were to destroy my career and my life begin. Bor, it's silver. I found it in a little shop. I didn't think there were such things left. What's it for? You mean you don't know? Honest to God, Giselle, I'll have you in Washington within six weeks. I'll get you a visa. I'll get you a job. I don't want a job. A job with who? The FBI? Stop it, Giselle. Now, will you come on?
fella. What do you think you're doing? You're trying to get somebody killed? You ran me right into the tree. What are you doing? I'm just standing here right in the middle of the road. Will you say something? What's the matter? Can't you speak English? She says, uh, will you get back in the car? I gotta make it to the airport. I'm sorry, sir. I just, I lost my temper. But my car won't start and I have to catch a plane. It's very important. Do you know, is there a gas station around or someone that could help me? Now, please, the only reason I'm asking you is because my car crashed because of him. Now, could you just give me a little help, please? I'm dying to hear this one. Sir, there's this one, please, baby. Oh, yes, we can't leave, God damn it! I told you my car was stuck. I'm smart. You missed. I'm stuck over there by this ivy. Please, 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 please,
you said, it was an accident, my it boy. It was an accident. But are you going to just take my word for it? Aren't you going to detain me? The inspector has offered us his car and the driver. What's going on here? This country is crawling with bureaucrats. Where are they? Why aren't they here questioning us? Jack, they are willing to let go us. Let go. What are you trying to cover up? Is the White House behind us? The what house? The White House. It's easy. You don't I... even know what are you saying. Hey, Spirito. What'd she say? She says you are feverish because of the war. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave the area at once. I tell you again, no one has been reported missing, no corpse has been found. If you continue to make a nuisance of yourself, I shall have you lock it up. How come do you speak English? Huh? It was your son that I killed, wasn't it? Ne, pedi mu Yes, that was your son. And you don't even care that I killed him. Vedam skvatos, tan litros, ihren na pesan na glitos. She says you didn't kill him. You released him. He needed to die. Long to rest. Because of the communists? Secret police? The Dal. The Pentagram. Because of the sign of the Pentagram. Oh. The Pentagon is behind all of this. The Pentagram. The mark of the beast. Beast. Oh, that's just a bunch of insanity. Whoever is beaten by a werewolf and lives becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, bull. Find out who she's working for. The Sadangos are comfortable. The wolf beat you, didn't he? Yes, damn it. Wear this charm over your heart always. And remember, a werewolf can only be killed with a silver bullet or a stick with a silver handle. Heaven help you, my son. The president wants to see you. He's in my bedroom. 
Settle it any way you want, but uh, just make sure it doesn't fall back on my lap or the Attorney General's. How's your flight, Jack? I mean, I think Washington is going to be quite a come down in many ways. I'm going to have to sell my stock. What do you... Even though you're my press aide, your job will deal mainly with the Justice Department. The Attorney General is just too honest for his own good. Need to... Uh, help restore his image with the press. And also deal with the um, Capri nomination, especially the Capri nomination. Have you uh, met Mrs. Capri? Doesn't matter. If Elliot loses the nomination, we'll just be mighty happy to stay home and make money, won't we, Don? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, she's going to be a problem. How do you tell Amanda dump his wife for the good of his country. Hmm. Well, anyway, I uh, want to restore some balance on the court. I mean, if there's a, a southerner, we could give them a sense of belonging down there. God damn it, you know what I mean, Jack. I think I do, sir, yes. Now, that's all the speech I have for now. But we'll talk some more later. Have you, uh, seen Marion yet? <laughs> I don't understand you, young people. She, uh, she's seeing a nice young man nowadays. You should get to know him. He's a psychiatrist, a naval psychiatrist. I think you'd like him. And Senator Bond does not represent the people of Maryland. Oh, hello there, Mr. President. You know, I was just telling the Attorney General here, that Senator Bond, oh, he makes me so sick. I just can't stand it. Mrs. Capri, I'm sure your husband doesn't even feel that strongly about it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Jack, you see the kind of problems we have here. The judge. I want you to meet Jack Whittier, the new assistant press secretary. How do you do? Mrs. Capri. Oh, is he the Jewish young man that you hired to muzzle me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm afraid they find him. Oh, well, you look smart. <laughs> uh, I'm going to excuse myself now. We sleep tight now, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, Miriam. Hello, Jack. My, that Marion's such a lovely girl. Did the Washington Times really send you to Siberia and the truth to her, Mr. Whittier? It, it was Hungary. What? Hungary? Uh, come on, Margie, I think it's time we left for home, too. Oh, no, Elliot, honey. Well, why don't you run along like you always do? I'm sure this nice young man will see me home, won't you, honey? <laughs> father's a cross between Abraham Lincoln and Jesus Christ. I'm engaged to be married, Jack. Already? To that psychiatrist guy? Thank you. 
some more for the road. <laughs> Oh, you know, anytime you have people marching in the streets, you're just catering to revolution. You know what my husband says? Well, my husband says many times that he actually prefers some of the Russian communists again, the liberal com <coughs> columnists in this country. What's the matter with my hands? Oh, nothing. Oh, my goodness, my land, Jack. You're just a terrible fool, aren't you? Marion and I are leaving. I, uh, I thought I'd come over and say good evening to you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Come on, Mr. Why don't you uh, come in and talk to me sometime, Jack? We'll have a talk. Huh? All right, sure. Now, now, where were we? Where were we? We were saying something about the... the damn thing myself. They didn't have a, didn't even have a station break. And this, this prejudiced, hostile critic is the commentator they put on right after the president's address about Capri. Well, I have the network's word. They're gonna bury this guy someplace. What do you mean? Give him the ax. Drop him. You're kidding. No. The president is fed up with this guy's facial expressions and gestures. We've got some friends there. It's the other networks I'm worried about. Here, take a look at the speech the vice president's going to read tomorrow night. <laughs> we are going to war against the networks, Jack. We're going to win back the minds and hearts of the American people. And we have got to have Captree on that court to win the fight or we're in trouble. Hell, you understand. Hey, look, uh, Jack, there's a, there's a line in there I have trouble with, something about uh, the views of a small group. The small, how does small strike you? That's uh, a little okay. soft. Uh, what would you call your uh, compatriots of the press if you wanted to be uh, you know, a little more flashy? Uh, let's see. Well, at their worst, a uh, coterie of impudent snobs. Or, <laughs> or uh, no, I mean, really, I that's could good. find some... Oh, that, that's great. We'll use it. You're kidding. No, it's just what we want. Look, the man told me to give you a draft of the speech and listen to your suggestions on it. Now I know why. I want you to spice it up a bit, huh? Well, I don't know. I mean... I wouldn't use that line that I just suggested. Why not? That is exactly what we want. And not now. Yeah. My God. What's this country coming to? Mrs. Captree was 
just found dead. Guts ripped open. Everyone gets to see all of the White House, Jack. Uh, I'm supposed to meet with your father. It's really awful about Mrs. Captry, isn't it? And those shoes they found, it's weird. Shoes? But Giselle, uh, Marion, the president's waiting for me. Hasn't Judge Captree asked that his nomination be withdrawn because of this horrible tragedy? Well, I've asked him not to make that request. Frankly, I don't want his name withdrawn. The current permissive trends continue in this country. I'm worried about national anarchy. Andrea, you and I, we don't see eye to eye about most things. Never asked for your support, and... Uh, I've never received it. But if your paper could change its position, it would swing the nomination for him. I'll think about it, Mr. President. Good. I'm sorry to have kept you here so late. Oh, uh, by the way, I've asked the FCC to act as quickly as possible upon that application, <laughs> no matter what position you take. After all, I do owe you a favor. You hadn't banished Jack here to uh, Budapest. Well, I wouldn't have a new assistant press secretary. Uh, good evening, well, darling. Well, Mr. President, we didn't banish Jack. I begged him to stay here, didn't I, Jack? He requested the transfer for personal reasons. And he's welcome to come back anytime. Thank you. <coughs> Jack? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll leave with Jack. No, uh, uh, Jack, I mean, I'll stay here with you, Mr. President. Well, I'll think it over, Mr. President. I may surprise you. Well, thank you, Andrea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jack. Good night. Good night. Jack. 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 I think I could be your friend, Jack. If you could just accept that. I'd like to be. You don't look well, Jack. Jack! Don't wait for me there, Marion. Wait for me in your room. Go away now! Jack! Jack!
Says it's a werewolf. A weird wolf? A werewolf. Werewolf. Can you imagine what happened if the press gets a hold of that? I think the kid did it himself. He looks like he could sever a jugular. Well, I don't think the kid did it. Now, maybe he did do it. His obvious hatred of female authority figures, the expression he keeps using, mother. Well, it fits the pattern of the crimes. Prominent middle-aged women found near national monuments. Well, I don't think the kid did it. You're the whiz kid. You keep him from the press. just tell me exactly what you saw? Look, we just saw this figure running away. A figure running away? Uh, was it a man or a woman? Or was it light or dark? Or was it light or dark? It was too dark to tell. The figure was dark, wasn't it? This figure was dark. All right, it was dark. It was very Debbie, dark. Debbie, Debbie, just be cool. A black man. No, it was a whale with you racist pig. Uh, just one Look, minute, Look, don't point your finger at me. Uh, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Take it easy. Look, we didn't do anything. Take it easy. Now, uh, could you, could you kids tell me uh, something more detail about this running figure? Uh, it was hairy. It walked funny. Uh-huh. The Panthers. How do you know it's the Panthers? I know it. Book them. Book them? Wait a minute. What for? Narcotics. Oh, no, Long Wait a minute. Listen. Uh, where are you kids staying? At the Chevrolet Hilton. The what? <laughs> Big bus on the mall. I'm just trying to help you now. Uh, we're going to assign an FBI agent to keep you under surveillance, or else we're going to have to lock you up. Oh, wow, man. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Uh, you stay with me. Right. Well, sir, do you have any leads? I mean, this is the second murder of a national figure in two days. Are you sure you have enough manpower to trap the killer? I mean, your boys seem to be busy with the networks. Let me tell you something. None of this would have happened if you people didn't support the very elements in our society that did this. Easy, Mom. Easy. Don't, don't let them get to you. How do you know that we support the elements when you don't have one single lead? We do have a suspect. And an indictment is imminent. Sir, I must insist that you stop talking to these people. Does imminent mean today, tomorrow, or indefinitely, sir? Imminent means tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. I'm sorry, sir. And won't you bleeding hearts be surprised? He doesn't have one indictment. He's too busy investigating us. You see? See? Jack! Jack! Well, there's a 
Remington, I want to show you out here that Blackfoot gave to me with the Mason Chief a few years back. Hey. I want to forget this. Two weeks. Fine job. You're indispensable to me. I need you now more than ever. It's about those shoes, sir. Shoes? Yeah. What shoes? Jack, would you please stop scratching the palms of your hands? It's just not manly. It's about the murders, sir. I don't believe that the Panthers did them. Well, there hasn't been a murder since we put a guard on that black boy. But the moon hasn't risen yet. Put a guard on me. Damn that mob out there. Hello, Jack. Well, what is the meaning of this? That speech you wrote last night was just great. The networks, they don't know what hit them. And it's all because of you. I want to assign you full time for writing speeches for the vice president. Mr. President, I think... I mean... I think I'm a little bit. The uh, Senate is a What? what? Senator. Uh, speak up, goddammit, I can't hear you. The Senator, Mr. President. Oh, uh, the Senator. In. Threw it up for grabs. It was deflected as he threw it up. That. Hello, Jack. We all get disturbed at some time or another over some damn little thing. But I won't hear of you leaving the team until you've had a chat with Commander Sam. All right? Mr. President. Hello. Oh, Joan. Good to see you. Come in. Come in. Sometimes we see our conflicts in terms of political symbols. What's politics got to do with this? Well, what does the Pentagon have to do with it? The Pentagon, yeah. gentlemen, the five-pointed we'll star. We're going to dinner now. Talk like a will. Would you come to the bathroom with me? Later, sir. Please. Would you come with me to the bathroom? Later. Later, please. Later, please. Yes. Before. I want to show you something.
Jack, I want to talk about your symptoms now, but they're not very hard to explain. Now, you feel guilty because you were with both of these women when they were killed. And, and you don't think that in itself is strange? And you have the feeling that you could have done something to stop it, coupled with guilt feelings for having murderous... Well, look at this. Guilt feelings for having murderous wishes towards these women for evil reasons for both of which you want to be punished. Will you look at this? So? I saw this in the palm of each of my victims. Jack. I want to help you. Well, then lock me up. Come over to the hospital tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But someone's gonna die tonight! Will you two shut up? Jack, I cannot help you unless you really want me to help you. Now remember what I told you. Jack Whittier on the line for Cliff Mapes. Cliff? Jack, fine. Little favor. I look, who would I talk to over there to find out if someone from Budapest is a red dart? Maybe Chinese. G-I-S-E-L-L-E. Frenic, F-R-E-N-N-I-K. French-Romanian, about 30. Uh, correspondent for the Budapest House Organ. I did. And now he has me thinking that uh, wh whatever was bothering me was all in my mind. No, 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 that's just between me and my analyst. cover up some political activities here. Assassinations. No. What? You want to move here? Tonight? I just hope your secret service man never publishes a book.
And now a word from our sponsor. That it could happen in America. That it could happen now. In an age of unrest, when our nation faces imagined threats. The Panthers! How do you know it's the Panthers? I know it! We need a president who inspires, who knows how to speak to the press. And today, I'm pleased to announce the indictment of... Uh, <clears throat> Secondly, the anarchist must be punished. And who can get the work done. It's time that we as a nation stand behind the man with the plan. That guy. Paid for by Republicans who want you to forget that their party launched a failed coup against their own nation. Oopsie, sorry. Oh, that, that's great. We'll use it. And now, back to tonight's feature, The Werewolf of Washington. Hey, I was on the walk. Good idea, let's go. Oh, no, man, without you. You know, we've won and won't make it. You know what I mean, don't you? Make it? Do it? Capital steps. <laughs> no, man, we really won't take a walk. Uh, could you uh, stay behind, you know, like a uh, hundred paces? No, seriously, I want to make a phone call, Mr. Gerard. Murphy. Randy Murphy. I'm going to go for a salad, okay? Yeah, man. Yeah. Randy Murphy. He's somewhere in Georgetown, I think. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Murphy. This is the werewolf of Washington. I know just what you want. Are the end of it? No, no. I uh, I left a message. I'll be back later. And I said uh, that we call. Yeah, well, you ready to go? Look, oh, come on, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, before I answer your questions, I would like to make a brief announcement. I have called this conference because of the mass hysteria and now tragedy surrounding a case that we're all very much aware of. <coughs> uh, aware of? Aware of. Uh, today, 
I'm pleased to announce the indictment of... Uh, <clears throat> secondly, the anarchist must be punished. And thirdly... I think he's missing a... Uh, we must have Captree no. on the Supreme Court. If he so threatens the people, they will stop at nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, questions? Mr. President, Mr. President. Uh, yes. Uh, sir, is it true that the same black man you're holding for murder was himself brutally attacked last night? Uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't point at you. I was pointing at her. Her. Oh, oh he's... Mr. President, the Vice President made a speech last night. I was wondering if you would comment yes, on I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. I, I would like to make one thing perfectly clear. The... The Vice President does not clear his speeches with me. <laughs> Is the conference over? Um, no. I just had to leave. You know, I tried calling you last night after you hung up. Where were you? Did you? Where was I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but that uh, color that uh, black kid uh, died. I don't care what it is you're going through, son. Commander Salmon assures me that your problems will not interfere with your job, and that's good enough for me. But I don't think Dr. Salmon... Now, wait, 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 Jack, wait. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Jack. Uh, sir. I, I, I don't care what this a gypsy lady told you. Commander Salmon tells me that in, uh, in your case, or let's say that in, in this case, the existence of a werewolf has not been verified. So how could you be a werewolf? Hmm? Well, sir... Uh... Where's the ball? Where's the damn ball? I'll take off your shoes or I'll get in the gutter. Jack, I'm going to let you in a little secret. Whether you know this or not, but I get frightened too. myself in you. They do. You're going places, Jack, and I, I like to be part of it. There it is. Coming up Mr. President, tonight, when the moon is full. Oh, Jack. Tonight, when the moon is full. Get out of here, some boy. Go on, get up the line there. That's it. No, 
Well, I can assure you that at the top amount of time for testing and soul searching, I'll strike out at my enemy swiftly and boldly. Maybe even tonight. Hey, boy. Jack. Yes. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. No, no, not like that. Here. Get down. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. That's it. That's it. I'll rip the ball back and when you get back, just let it sit down there. That's it. Get the ball back there. All right. Get your knees down there. Now, when you get the ball back there, just let it. Whiz. Let it go. Okay. Uh, you think I run from the battle? I surf from it. Jack, will you throw the ball? Throw the ball down there. Yes, sir. I would too. Shoot now. I'd be aiming on a sheer recklessness. I'd miss the target completely. Oh, son, there are only a few of us left in the boat now. We've got to stick together and strengthen one another. I believe in you, Jack. I want you to believe in me. I promise to stand by you in this crisis, Jack, if you promise me that you'll stand by yourself. Jack, you throw the ball for Christ's sake. I can't, sir. Oh, sure you can, Jack. Just throw it. No, I can't. I've been trying to tell you. Jack, what, what kind of a man are you, anyway? I've been trying to tell you, sir. Uh, the first thing happens, my fingers start to swell before the moon rises. And now my fingers are stuck on a ball. I can't get it off. Oh, Jack, but I have a meeting in the war room. Please. I can't go. Jack, look, Commander Salmon will be there. Everything will be fine. I'm stuck in the ball. Can make a truck for a ball. It's a ball. Nothing wrong with that ball. Nothing at all. So these pilots load up their planes with bombs, fly them anywhere they want, drop them anywhere they want, without any authorization. They're so damn incorrigible. And then it drops in our lap. And we don't even hear about it until we read it in the paper. Well, I'm fed up with being a nice guy. The entire country is talking about sex murders and wash and weird wolf. This is just what the paper's been waiting for. Did you see this uh, article in this morning's Times? Articles like that are appearing in every newspaper in every city in the country. Oh, I think we, I think we, I think we are crucifying. The networks, they can't even control their own people anymore. That circus of hippies outside the White House is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, now, wait a minute. I understand Congress is threatening you with impeachment proceedings. You're confusing the issue entirely. I am afraid of complete civil disorder. My recommendation is that we declare martial law, put a curfew on the whole city, and bring the army in on this. The army? Uh, I think we should uh, hold off on that. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, I'd like to come uh, directly to the point. I would like to be able to announce the withdrawal of all troops totally and immediately in Southeast Asia. But frankly, uh, I'm afraid of the uh, reaction from the lunatic right. Uh, General DeRocha, or excuse me, General, uh, Admiral, Admiral DeRocha, you are a politically astute tactician, well aware of the uh, tensions on the home front. Uh, what can I do to keep down casualties here and abroad while I speed up truth, uh, uh, troop withdrawals? Sir, if we can make just one last quick thrust into his sanctuaries, covered by a reactive, uh, protracted reconnaissance, uh, an active, uh, radiative uh, Radiation? reconnaissance. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, try to stay awake over there, Harry. Yes, sir. A protective, reactive reconnaissance. Uh, an okay, let's do it. Well, sir, uh, hmm? don't you think we should notify Congress? Notify Congress? What do you think, sir? Jack? Now, no, no goddammit, let's, well, let's just ignore them. Gentlemen, our credibility is at stake throughout the world. No, I will not be found wanting in this nuclear age. 
About our plan to recognize Red China? Oh, 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 Mr. President! <laughs> a great theater, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it now. Jack. Jack, what the hell time is it? He's uh, probably gone to the dispensary. <laughs> your name. Tell me your name. What is your name? Are you real? Are you really real?
My name is Whittier. I called earlier about some silver bullets. No, no, I want them. With powder. And tonight. All right, $500. I don't care. No, they don't have to be ballistically perfect. Well, can you make one by tonight? All right, then send me one. won't stop it. Maybe we can get it with a, a tank or a flamethrower. I don't want him destroyed under any circumstances. Don't you realize how important it is to our programs? You must issue the order that he be taken alive. It's uh, damn interesting, uh, Dr. Kiss, about the, the programs. Uh, uh, just, uh, just what the hell are our uh, scientific programs? Oh, I haven't any more time for this. I have my own work to tend to. No, the is pretty much the law. Word leaks out that there's a werewolf running around and we, we can't kill it. Well, just don't let it. Only you and I have seen this. Just keep all the people off the streets tonight and we'll handle it. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm up to my neck in this Asian policy stuff and then uh, two students out in Ohio. I respectfully submit, sir, that that is your problem. shape is a scar on my shoulder with just one night to fill in the shape of the five-pointed star. Another murder tonight at Watergate, my apartment. And there's no doubt about it, the shoes we found at the Pentagon are his. And the shirt. And the shirt. If I could just catch a plane tomorrow, I'll have a full month to find that old gypsy woman before the full moon rises again. And doctor, I know you, you can find a way to tell the president so that there won't be a search for me tonight or an investigation. But you have to lock me up tonight. All right, I'm convinced. We'll lock you up. We can't let the press know about this. We can't let anybody know about it. Yeah. There's no doubt the press would seize on your personal tragedy to discredit the president. Well, frankly, I don't even want him to know. He's got enough on his mind already. Jack. I'm sorry about this. Could you tell? Marion? I even think I might be able to get some rest tonight, knowing I'm chained up. Let's go. What's that? It's a time-lapse camera, Jack. Presumably it'll go on during the transformation. If you are what you say you are, we owe it to science to make a record of it. 
Oh, and the president wants a copy for his new library. Oh, Captain Salmon, would you turn on the television for me? I'd like to watch the president's address tonight. Still angry over the... I have to leave soon, Captain Jack, but... Is about to I'll be back after the address is over. Oh, I can't believe I have to go through another night of this agony. <sighs> Captain Salmon, you see that cane? The cane right by the television set? Pick it up! Pick it up! Then don't hit me with it! Hit me with it! On the head! Kill me! I'm just a violent beast, and I'm better off dead! I'm better off dead! Jack, I'm better off dead! Jack, kill me, will you? Pull yourself together, Jack! Now, there's nothing to whimper about. I guess this station will do. He's going to be on all the stations. I don't that. All right, Jack. I'll, I'll be back after the address. Jack. No one did anything to me, Marion. Will you get out of here? Are you insane? Who did this to you? But, but Marion, will you leave my chains alone? Did you do this to yourself? Oh, just leave them alone, Marion. God damn it! Will you get out of here? Out! Out! Will you please stop barking at me? <coughs> now, please stop that nonsense. It's not nonsense, Marion. Please. Will you leave before anything happens to you? No, I'm not going to leave. Of course not. In fact, I'm spending the night here. What? So that you can see this is all in your mind. Oh, Mary, get the hell out of here! Don't worry, I'll leave your chains on. What's that? Marion, just next to the TV, there's a gun there. You see it? All right, it's loaded. Now, if anything happens to me, if I change. That's the only thing that can keep me from killing someone else. Oh, Jack, stop it. Marion, if you insist on staying here, you can at least do that for me. Keep it with you at all times. Now you can do that for me, can't you, Marion? You can at least do that. I gave you a few days off, but it's just that the uh, press secretary is ill, and I, I need you there. Well, I guess it's my most important address ever. I'm announcing an arms limitation agreement with the Chinese foreign minister, and I, well, I just don't want the public to think that it's a cover for the curfew I'm imposing upon Washington tonight. I just don't want to sound like the little boy who cried wolf. You know what I mean, Jack? What? Uh, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to insist. Yeah. Well, I've already sent a chopper over there to pick you up. Chopper. Uh, hell, hell, you know, helicopter. You know. Mr. President, 
Isn't that your helicopter over there? They're all my helicopters, Jack. Oh. <laughs> uh, I tell you, don't leave the door. Watch your Panamax. Well, <laughs> it's a special occasion, Mr. Prime Minister. It's the first time we've ever interrupted our nation's television broadcasting for an unannounced press conference. Isn't that right, Jack? I understand it comes at a very good time. Is it true that everybody in Washington is afraid of a werewolf? A werewolf? <laughs> no, no, I, I haven't heard that story. <laughs> oh, is that so? I read a report of it in one of the Hanoi papers. It sounded like a case of mass hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like an amusing report, Mr. <laughs> Jack, would you look into that? Jack? <laughs> oh, where would you? <laughs> read any of those had our papers. <laughs> Where were we? Now, uh, <coughs> Mr. Ford, Prime Minister. Sir. We will introduce you to the nation, and then I will come on next with a... Hey, this is the more... Hey, uh, 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 Mr. Prime Minister, no, we are going to introduce you first to the nation. Uh, let's see, how... Uh, oh, I didn't understand what you're saying. Well, let's see, how, how do you... Uh, how do you see that in the Chinese... Uh, oh. Wa Shen uh, Chir Sauni. Uh, we, you'll be the grabbers. Uh, you'll get the people, uh, uh, and, and then, then that'll raise a certain amount of speculation, Mr. Prime Minister, and then, then, then I'll come on, and that'll give the people what they've been waiting for. Do you understand? Uh, I come on, I come on. Mr. Prime Minister, you're not listening. Uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. Wa Shen Chir Sauni. Do you understand, Mr. Prime Minister? I don't understand at all. Then I come on and then I'll announce I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. Hey, that this is not the thing I want. I don't want him here. What? I, <laughs> just leave Jack out of this now. You just talk to me for a moment. What I'm talking about, Mr. Prime Minister... Let's wait, wait, talk wait. about this first. I don't want to see him here. Mr. Prime Minister, would you please pay attention here just a moment? Uh, Jack. Jack, will you pay attention to... God damn it! Can I told you? Is this a joke? Oh, is that what? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no joke, Mr. Prime Minister. No war, of course. No, sir. Can I do it, sir? Jack, please just help me out here a little bit, will you? Um, Wa Shen Shir Sauni. Shir Sauni. Sauni, Sauni, you know. Sauni. Wa Shen Shir Sauni. What on the understand what you said, Jack. Jack. Uh, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get it then. Jack, uh, Jack, would you just pay a little attention over here, Jack? No, Jack! This is high Jack! High Jack! No, 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 Jack! No, there's no, no high Jack, Mr. Prime Minister. No, no, the high Jack. Washen Shirshani. You'll go before the nation. No more Jesau, no more Jesau. I go! You don't go to the house. You don't go to the house. I don't go to the house. I go! I go! No, no, don't get off here. No, no, don't get off here. We have to land, sir. Land, land. Uh, Jack, how do you say land? Uh, Jack, will you please try to pay some attention over here? Uh, Mr. President, after we announce you... Jack, you're right. It is you.
Gee, Grant, he may be the president, but he's still a human being. Boy, Jack, what are you? My God. Marion. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just want to make one thing perfectly clear. What is that? It's just, just Sony. Sony. What is that? Just Sony. out, General. He's changed back. Who's to say any of us saw what we saw? An autopsy. We'll have an autopsy. No, 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 no. My mind, it's playing tricks on me. Listen, we'll, we'll give him a, uh, a hero's burial. 
he became. He came between a sniper's bullet and the president's daughter. Yeah. We trace this gun, find out who the owner is. No, no, bury it, bury it, bury it with last year's nerve gas. The president's going to be all right. He just has a little bite on the neck. Thank God. Hal! Tell Marion uh, her father's going to be all. Never mind. Well, you guys won't have Jack Whittier to kick around anymore. My fellow Americans, this is your president speaking to you from the White House. First, I want to thank you for your letters and telegrams offering me your best wishes during my recent illness. Secondly, I know I can count on your support as I lash out against the enemies of America, both in the press as well as the Senate, Republicans as well as Democrats, white as well as black, who have circulated the vicious rumors holding members of my administration responsible for the recent and tragic deaths of just a few of my political uh, opponents. At night, I roam the silent, empty corridors of this great house, wrestling with my conscience. And I've come to this conclusion. If I'm to prevent our enemies from destroying not me, but the very office of the presidency, I must have your support. And so, and so, and so, and so, tonight's movie the werewolf of washington and wow if you ever have doubts about the thing you want to make remember that this exists here's a preview of what we'll be watching next time the quarantine is weighing heavily upon vincent price there was a time when eating was pleasurable now it bores me exhausted he does what everyone has done creates a podcast takes up crafting hunts down and kills everyone who gathers without a mask Will he last until a vaccine arrives, or will Republican insurrectionists force him to reopen before it's safe? Find out in The Last Man on Earth on the Busan Midnight Movie. Under no circumstances should you gather public. If you're the dire emergency that exists, I intend to. Doesn't that look grim? As always, Consomnida, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.